Examples for converting derived units. Okay, so last time we talked a little bit about um, derived units, and one of those units is, are area units. Now, um, remember that area is a derived unit, and it's the product of more than one unit. So uh, one unit for area could be meter squared, could also be centimeter squared. But the key here is to remember that meter squared actually means meter times meter, which means we have two meter units in our derived unit. The big key to go, that goes with that is that we also need two conversion factors, one for each unit. So remember, you have to cancel all of them out in order to get to your new unit. So let's see how that works. All right, so let's convert 17.6 meters squared to square centimeters. And so what we're gonna do is, here's our 17.6 meters squared. We're gonna separate out those two meters Okay, so meter times meter is the same thing as meter squared. And we're going to make two of those conversion factors that we talked about last time. So 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. We have meters on the bottom, so they'll cancel out. So one meter is canceled out by one of them in the numerator. The other one is canceled out by the other. So then we're going to end up with centimeters times centimeters, which is centimeters squared. So let's go ahead and look at it with everything canceled out. So you can see that the meters cancel out all the way and all we have are uh, centimeters squared. Okay. And then finally, here's our final answer. So we end up with um, 17,600 centimeters squared. And we're going to write that in scientific notation because it's much more clear that we have three sig figs. And we started with three sig figs. So that's exactly what we want. All right, so we're also going to remind ourselves that volume is defined as length times width times height. So again, now we're going to have multiple meter units. So meter times meter times meter to give us meter cubed. So uh, our question here is how many cubic centimeters are there in 0 0.883 meters cubed? Okay, now we have the exponent of 3 here. And so that means we have three length units. So we need three conversion factors, just like we used before. Okay, so here's the math. So here's our meters cubed. This time I didn't separate them out into meter times meter times meter, but that's what they are. And now here's our three conversion factors. 100 centimeters over one meter, three times. Each one of those is going to cancel out one of these meters in the numerator. And then we're going to multiply that. So 0.883 times 100 times 100 times 100, and we're going to end up with 833,000 cubic centimeters. If we write that in scientific notation, then we're going to end up with um, 8.33 times 10 to the fifth centimeters cubed. We have three sig figs in our initial quantity. We have three sig figs in our answer. So that's perfect. Now, one thing I want to point out, instead of having these three conversion factors like this, which, um, which I don't do anymore, um, but it, you should do it this way until you get good at it um, and make sure that you practice. But what you can do is you can just put them all together. So you just multiply the three of them together. The key here is to remember that your conversion number is also cubed. So we have 100 cubed centimeters cubed. In other words, both both quantity, both parts of the number are cubed. So the unit and the actual quantity. Same with meters cubed, uh, one to the third power, which is still just one meters cubed. Now you may see this as a conversion uh, somewhere else and they will almost always leave off this three and that kind of obscures what's actually happening. But it, the only reason why they do that is that one times one times one is still one. And so there's really no reason for this to be here. I just put it there so that it would be really clear for you guys to see what we're doing. Um, and now you can see that those meters uh, cubed easily cancel out. You divide eight, uh, 0.883 divided by one times 100 to the third power gives you the same answer, 833,000 centimeters cubed. And in the uh, scientific notation, it is also the same with the same number of sig figs. So this is a much more compact and easier way to do it, but definitely do it this way until you get really, really comfortable.
right, so let's talk about rates because we want to learn how to, uh, you know, uh, convert a different kind of derived unit, something like a rate. Um, so basically a rate is a quantity, an amount, or degree of something measured per unit of something else. So for instance, we can go 88.4 meters in one, meet it, one minute. So 88.4 meters in one minute. And what we want to do is convert those meters per minute to meters per second. Okay. Notice we're leaving the meters the same. We're just converting the time unit. Okay. So that's going to give us a little bit different type of problem than we've had before. Now remember our equality, 60 seconds is equal to one meter. So we want to put together a conversion factor so that the unit we want to remove, which is minutes, is in the numerator. Okay, so let's go to the next slide and see what that looks like. Okay, so you can see, so we have one minute divided by 60 seconds. So the minute is in the uh, numerator. That will cancel out our minutes in the denominator in our initial quantity. Okay, remember the other way to write this is 60 seconds over one meter, oh, sorry, one minute, and that's completely equivalent. So, um, but we have to turn it this way because we have minutes in the denominator and we want to get rid of them. So that means the minutes have to be in the numerator in our conversion factor. So 88.4 divided by 60 is going to give us 1.47 meters per second. So the minutes cancel out, we end up with meters per second. Um, all right, now also notice that we have three sig figs in the original quantity. We have three sig figs in our final answer. Okay, so always, always check that once you finish. All right, so let's look at another example. So we have a rectangular plot and it has 36.7 centimeters by 128.8 centimeters. So what's the area of the garden plot in square meters? And you want to express your answer to the proper number of significant figures. Now, even if the problem doesn't tell you to do that, make sure that you always do that. Um, all right, so what we're going to do is determine what equalities we want to use, and we also want to figure out our sig figs. And then we're going to go to the answer. So in this case, we are going from centimeters squared to square meters. Okay, so centimeters squared to square meters. And we have three significant figures, 36.7, 128.8. This is the lower number of sig figs, so we're going to go with three sig figs. So now we have some parameters for our answer. So let's go ahead and figure out what our total area is originally in centimeters squared. So we're just going to multiply our two lengths together and we are going to get 4,726.96 centimeter squared. And that's the total area of this section of the garden plot. Now we want to convert it. And as I mentioned, you could either, you know, split these out and have one meter over 100 centimeters and have two of those, or you could square everything. So 100 square centimeter square, uh, one squared meter squared. And notice that your centimeter squared will cancel out. So you're going to take 4,726.96, divide it by 100 squared, and then you'll end up with your answer in meters squared. Now notice we have a whole bunch of decimal places. If we wrote this down this way, we would be saying that we know down to the tenths, hundredths, thousandths, I mean, you know, when we really don't. We don't know that. We don't know out to six uh, significant figures. We only know out to three significant figures. So what we're going to do is one, two, three. We're going to keep this two, except now we need to look at the next one and see whether we need to round up or leave it the same. And uh, six is bigger than five. And so we're going to round this one up. So we're going to have 0 0.473 meters squared. All right, so just in summary, uh, units can be converted to other units. We just need the proper conversion factors. Uh, we can relate uh, two different units using equalities. Um, and we also have to make sure that, uh, that we you know, have enough conversion factors to cancel out our original unit. And also remember, uh, just to remind you, exact numbers don't affect the determination of sig figures, significant figures. So 
every unit conversion or every equality um, conversion factor, those don't count when we uh, count up significant figures.